Hey guys, Kev here, and I have a full review to do for you. This is the Jack Wolf Knives Javelina Jack. So this one here is in the Brittany Blue. You may have seen the Dark Matter Green one in my unboxing, and I'll talk about that. First, I want to go over this slip that I'm carrying it in. This is a clip slip. So some people don't like carrying their knives in just a regular slip like so. This is a tactile knife coat bear that is in a Lancelot leather slip made for it. And um, some people don't like that. They prefer to have a clip. And you can get clip slips, which is cool. So I prefer normal slips and drop them in pocket, but... Sometimes I'm waiting for a slip to come in or certain pants or situations call for a clip and then I can go for it. In this case, OCD for EDC was kind enough to send me this to uh, check out and test for them. They have these up on their websites. Um, I believe, ah, man, shit, I always forget it. Something Armory. And um, they're out of the Pacific Northwest, I believe. And they make these slips for OCD for EDC. And they fit the Jack Wolf lineup, which is really cool. So if you go to their website and go under Jack Wolf Knives, you'll see these slips listed. I can say these slips are really nice. I'm really enjoying it. Here is another Jack Wolf I just got. This is the Cyborg Jack. And you can see that one slides in as well. Nice form fitting. Now, these two are a little bit different because they have kind of a curved handle to them. Um, most Jack Wolves will kind of just sit in there normal. I don't have one. I do, but they're under some stuff. Um, but they'll sit kind of just straight in, which and they won't stick out really, maybe just a little bit. These two are not the best example, but, I mean, it still works just fine, right? Like, here's the bear. You could use this for basically any slip joint as long as it fit the size. This actually fits really well in here. Nice and slim profile. So if you have a bear, that would work. Um, and then it has this really good clip. It's um, it's It has good tension. So when you put this in your pocket, you're not going to just like yank it out if you try to get the knife out. So you could just pinch the knife, pull it out with this in your pocket, and it'll stay there. If you wanted to pull it out and then take the knife out, then you kind of just get under there, lift this, and pull out at the same time works really easily. But it's very supple leather, I noticed. Uh, I really like this quite a bit. Um, so I wanted to talk about that. Go check out ocdforedc.com. They also have Jack Wolf knives. So they still have some of the previous models in stock. So if you're interested, definitely check those out. Now, this is the Javelina Jack. This one is dropping on the 17th of February. I believe that's going to be today. I'm trying to plan this so it drops the day up. Um, and they'll be dropping at 2 p.m. on the 17th of February, 2023. You are going to have uh, multiple options. So first, it's going to be available at a bunch of dealers. Like I said, OCD for EDC. TraditionalPocketKnives.com, Blue Creek Knives, Urban EDC will drop there the following Wednesday. Um, you also have uh, Blade HQ. I will link all of the companies that I have an affiliate link with in the description of this video. And so if you use any of those links to buy one of these, I'll get some credit, which will definitely help the channel. If you want to do that, you don't have to. And then I will also link the main dealer list from Jack Wolf Knives. So if you just want to go to the dealer list, work your way down to get the one you want, you can do that as well. Um, the versions that are going to be available are this one. This is a Brittany Blue Camo Carbon which has uh, sort of like a, a, it's Tiffany green, basically. Um, or is it Tiffany blue? I don't know what they call it, but it's kind of a teal, right? Um, it does look more blue on this than it does in other uh, models because this is kind of a contoured cut and it's more subdued. Uh, so it does look a little more blue. So you have that one, and then I believe you also have a blaze orange camo carbon. So it's sort of just an orange camo carbon. Um, similar kind of cut, maybe a little more color in that one. Then you have the dark matter uh, green, which is the one you saw in my unboxing. Uh, very, very 
uh, green. It has a lot of green in it. It's kind of like the dark matter gold, uh, where a lot of the dark matters are just splotches. The gold and the green are like phew, covered. Really cool. That one I would call the jalapeno jack. Um, and then we have the purple haze fat carbon, uh, which is another one I would be interested in. Um, but I think I'm going to chill because uh, I already bought this one after getting the, the green one. And then I gave away the green one for, for my 10K live the other night. Shout out to you guys. Um, there's the um, purple haze. And then there is a micarta. I believe it's natural or green. I'm not sure which one. They're very similar anyway. So those are your options. Pick your poison. Five options. Uh, the price point is going to be the same. 275 for the micarta. And then 300 for these guys with the camo carbon where you shop will dictate if you're going to pay tax and or shipping and that kind of stuff um, if you go to like blue creek knives you'll get free shipping um, so it'll just be like 300 bucks out the door uh, blade hq you're probably going to pay tax and shipping or whatever so just keep all that stuff in mind but uh, more importantly i would just get the one you want right uh, so this one here is uh, a bit different. I had a really no interest in this when I first saw it in his pictures, his renderings, his um, whatever it is up on his website uh, that he had from the previous prototypes. So they didn't have the fat carbon or anything like that. And um, I just, I don't know, the, the sort of curved handle and the clip point really didn't do it for me. I'm not a big clip point guy. I'm slowly getting more into them as I get more into traditionals. Uh, but, you know, didn't really catch my eye as much as others did. But that is the same thing that happened with last month's model, the low drag jack. That one I had zero interest in. Uh, honestly thought I would hate it and I got it in and it has quickly become, uh, one of my top three Jack Wolves, maybe even higher than that at this point. I love the low drag. So this one came in and the same thing kind of happened. I, I instantly was like, Ooh, this is a lot better than anticipated the size. You know, they always look bigger in pictures. The size is so good and so comfortable in the hand. Um, the blade shape really spoke to me in person because the nuances of things don't really catch your eye or my eye in pictures like the way the tip has belly but then has a straight up to the tip and that's really nice in my opinion for penetration and just i don't know i just enjoy that over a more rounded tip um it does have vibes of the cyborg jack um so, you know, there's going to be people out there who say, well, I already have the cyborg. Do I need the javelina? And I would say if it catches your eye, for sure, um, the blade shape's a little different. The handle's a little different. Um, you know, I think overall the cyborg's a little more unique, but they're both really cool. And as a collector on my end, I would want both, of course. Um, but I could see somebody kind of being like, eh, I got that one, I don't need this one, or vice versa, right? So another one I just got um, is the Cyborg in this toxic green. I have the pink one, but I always wanted this toxic green one, and I finally found one. Um, and if you compare them, you shall see the size is very similar. I think the Cyborg might be slightly bigger if my eye calipers are working um you'll see this one has an end cap this one does not so some people will like that some people won't uh this one has a flute right here the cyborg does not again some people will like that some people won't um the biggest difference for me is the height of the knife the cyborg looks a little bit taller in my opinion it has a few more angular cuts than the javelina the javelina is a little more traditional i would say right um and then the biggest difference in my opinion is the blade shape so while they both are clip points you shall see that what i was talking about earlier try to hold these together what i was talking about earlier is the way the belly is here and then it goes sh straight to the tip right this one, you get the belly, and it keeps belly, 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 belly tip. 
right? It never really straightens out to the tip. Maybe at the very end there, right? You get a little bit there. This guy, belly and then straight to the tip. And to me, that is going to be more effective for me in my tasks, which involve stabbing under tape, <laughs> stabbing into a bag of chips or a bag of something I ordered or cutting open the next knife box, right? For being real. It's not like I'm out there chopping trees down with these things. I'm just using them to open packages and food and shit like that. Uh, but this has a little more penetration for that. You can also kind of turn it over very comfortably and use the back like this if you want. Now, you could do that with this as well if you wanted to. But again, you're going to have that belly to contend with where this is going to be more of a uh, penetrating type tip. Uh, walk and talk since we have these out if we want to compare them. I would definitely compare these two. Um, I think it's on point. With the Cyborg, the one I have, the spring is just about the same, honestly. Um, I did talk to Ben about it, and he thought the springs overall were a little bit softer than the Cyborg. Not soft, a little bit softer than the Cyborg. That's still plenty strong, you know what I mean? Uh, but he kind of put it somewhere between the Sharpshooter and the Cyborg, which is a great range to be in. My example here uh, is just a little bit stronger. And I know that because I did get another one of these. And um, one of them was, you know, slightly softer on the spring than the other one. And then I kind of was like, oh, now I get what he's saying. But this one is, man, this one is just butter. And um, it hops to that half stop just like the Cyborg does. Whoop. And it kind of does a little zoop, jostle and then down. Boom, right? The Cyborg. Zink. Now, this one's brand new, so I'm still breaking it in. And I did not want to loosen the pivot, so I'm just kind of working it. But you can see it jumps and then pops down. So the acoustics are a little better here. Um, you have more pinchability. Uh, but I would say... I like the tension and the springiness on this one a little better. So they both have their own sort of trade-offs, and they both are unique and awesome in their own right. So um, I don't know why I wanted to discuss that topic. And you do get plenty of area to pinch here. It's not like you can't. It's just more on that one. Uh, but I wanted to cover that because some people had asked me. And... Um, I think they're similar, but not similar enough that I would cross this one off because I have that one, um, especially not if you're a collector. But if you're just being very picky about which ones you're buying, then I could see that, right? Um, yeah. So anyway, there you go. Um, aesthetically, again, I really think this one's cool. Um, it does have a little bit of the banana shape. I won't say it, um, but it has a little bit of the banana shape. Um, I Again, I like the blade on this. This one's an S90V, which is cool. He's going to that now. Um, it's razor sharp. I did do some cutting with this and really enjoyed it. I had to open a Go-Gurt for my kids. Some really hard use cutting. Um, I think there was some cardboard, and I opened a bunch of packages. The usual stuff. And um, as usual, full hollow grind, stupid thin behind the edge, you know, somewhere around 10 thousandths, maybe even less. Um, just a pleasure to cut with and use. I love it. Um, flush in all three positions on the spring. Beautiful belt satin. You do have a nail nick. I tend to grab it right here. So right in front or right behind the nail nick. Um, I am left-handed though. I know most people are going to grab it like this. So you might use that nail nick a little bit to grab it. Um, I just, yeah, I'm not used to that. <laughs> I just don't use slip joints right-handed. Um, yeah, it just feels super awkward. So I do it like this, pinch, pull, pop. I like to do a pop at the end there. So I'll get it to half and then I'll kind of pop it out. 
And that's one of the satisfying things to me about the Jack Wolves is it gets a real crisp pop where something like the tactile bear here, very subdued on that. There's a lot of movement in things. I will say this is very good compared to um, the first one I had, but still rather mushy. Um, I know that most people don't care about that. You know, it's just a very thin slip joint. People like this knife for that. And I do like this knife quite a bit. It's USA made, all that stuff. But another good comparison here. Um, this is a um, the DLC version from uh, traditionalpocketknives.com. I believe these are available on their website. So if you pick up the Jack Wolf and you want to grab one of these too, Go for it. Um, these are made in the U.S. They are somewhere around, I believe, $330 or something like that. Uh, if I'm remembering correctly, maybe it was $400. I can't remember. The DLC adds like $100 to the retail price, which is gnarly, but DLC is expensive, I guess. Um, but the price point being very similar here, the quality you get in the Jack Wolf is hands down just like hand over fist better um aesthetically looking at it it might not seem that way you might be like yeah but i mean it's titanium and you know whatever right but if you handle this i think you would understand um the spring again is is more mushy it's not really jumpy it's got a lot of play in it it doesn't pop the same way uh, again, not horrible or anything, but it has a lot of side-to-side -side play. I cannot adjust this. It's like freaking red Loctite or something. Uh, I couldn't loosen this or these with a even with the stubby driver. Um, the biggest issue I have with this one is um, it has major gapping. So th this spine here, the spring is all... I mean, there's a gap on both sides, like a, a big one. And you can see down there, right? Um, it's also not flush in the closed position. Oh, well, you can see that, but it sticks up. And, um, yeah, I don't know. All of that together, and then, you know, you're being asked to pay what you are. I get it. USA made, all that stuff. Still a good knife, right? Um, functional, all that stuff. But for a similar price... I think you're getting leaps and bounds better quality here and cutting and all of that. Uh, tactile is getting better with their their uh, edges, but they're still not perfect. Um, you know, that Magna Cut's at 61 uh, and then coated. So maybe that's why it's at 61 because of the coating. Ah, it doesn't make sense. But anyway, um, this is made in China. I know that. And a lot of people are going to make that argument. Totally get it. But if you set that aside and just look at the quality, you will understand. Um, but you, ha you might have to handle one. That's kind of the thing with these. Um, a lot of people don't understand. And then you, you hand them one. They get one. Whatever. And then they're like, oh. <laughs> now I get it. Uh, this has absolutely no side-to-side -side play. Okay, no side to side at all. Freaking jumps to that half. It doesn't have any of that wiggle stuff going on. Pops down, close, right? Um, it's flush in all three positions. So we're dead flush on that spring. Dead flush on that spring. Dead flush on that spring. We are dead nuts down the center on this guy. That's, in my opinion, after all of the slip joints I've handled, it is very hard to pull off. Dead centering, no play, great walk and talk, and flush springs. I, it's almost unheard of. And I have 10, 11 of these. They all do it. I mean, it's incredible. Yes, I do have one or two here and there that are not perfectly centered, right? It's a little off, whatever. Um, but that's really it. That's really the only thing that I've 
had be off at all is centering not being perfect and that's probably mostly just the grind maybe maybe is just a little off the blades just not perfectly straight but it's still you know got perfectly flush spring there's no play at all and it's got killer walk and talk i mean it's just i don't know uh yeah it's just really good and this one uh has epic walk and talk i mean this one is one of my favorites in terms of the walk and talk it's not quite venom venom is just like beyond crazy how good the venom is and the cyborg is man it's really good this is right there with the cyborg maybe even slightly better i don't know um but this one kills in the walk and talk category the cutting category ergonomics once again just crushed it's so good it does have a little bit of a uh pew pew grip thing going on but it works. Um, it's it's very comfortable in the hand. Thumb lands in a good spot. Pinch grips are good. I mean, it's it's been a pleasure to use. It's been a pleasure to carry. It's got the same you know nice thickness that you see on on the uh, Jack Wolf knives, and uh, yeah, so it's another good one, guys. I you know, um, still waiting for the day that we don't get a good one, but uh, I hope that never happens and. Uh, with the way Ben is, I uh, probably won't. So um, let me know what you guys think. Are you going to pick one up today? Um, if this is in the future for you, did you get one? Are you happy with it? Um, which version are you into? I He sent me the green one to review, and I was like, you know, man, I really like that Britney Blue, so I bought one, right? I paid full price, bought one, and then I gave away the green one uh, for my 10K, um, so I've spent just as much as you guys on this one and most of them, to be honest, I bought this one to have another one, right? Um, full price. So I have no problem sitting here telling you how amazing they are. It's just how good they are. So, um, I think that's, uh, we'll call it good on this review. Uh, you guys let me know what you think. Uh, of course, I always appreciate that. I love you guys. Uh, again, February 17th, oops, 2 p.m. at all the dealers. It's all listed in the description. If you want to use the links to the affiliates uh, to help out the channel, that'd be great. If not, no big deal. Just go to the uh, main Jack Wolf dealer link and pick the one you like the most. I love you guys. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. And I will catch you later.